from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Now I'm tracking a warm front that is going to be moving into our area. That's going to bring in some southerly flow. It's going to be rather weak in nature, but it's going to make us feel a little bit better. Uh, temperatures are going to climb into that unseasonably warm territory for the afternoon tomorrow. Unfortunately, that is going to be followed up by uh, a nice cold front that's going to bring not only the chance for showers on Thursday uh, into the start of your Friday morning, but some cooler numbers for Friday and numbers that are going to be chilly heading into the start of the weekend. So still some dry time to talk about. Here's that weak warm front to the north and west of us. So you can see that southerly flow starting. I do expect a mix of sun and clouds. There's some moisture in the upper levels out there, so some high cumulus clouds going to be possible, but I do expect that those to dissipate as we head into the afternoon and southerly flow really does rule the day and give us those warm numbers that we have all been craving. So going to be a little chilly in the morning, but I think if you're grabbing some donuts for maybe you and your co-workers, some coffee, not bad. 42 degrees by the 8 o'clock hour when you're clocking in. And if you're thinking about going for a nice bike ride tomorrow, Temperatures are going to be a little bit more agreeable, so I expect us to be in the lower 60s for most of the afternoon. Not a bad day to do that as long as you have on some tights and some sweats or uh, maybe even a hoodie. And then heading into the evening, the numbers are nice and mild. Mid 50s for the 7 o'clock hour into the uh, 9 o'clock hour, so pretty comfortable, a little bit above where we should be for this time of year. And the numbers only warm heading into uh, your fried Thursday. Yeah, look at this southerly flow really going to dominate the day here. And as we head through the day, I expect the winds to increase with the gusty winds occurring Thursday evening and those gusts could gust upwards of 40 miles per hour in some isolated locations. But that is going to be enough to bring us not only some sunshine to start off the day, but some warmer numbers already starting off the day in the upper 40s, low 50s, climbing into the 70s around lunchtime. So there's that green light to be outside for lunch and then numbers slowly starting to cool down as some of those clouds kick into the region and we start to see some of those showers overrunning that and winds starting to shift as that front will bring in northwesterly flow and those numbers will dip into the 30s as rain continues to move in through the early morning hours. Models are trying to pick up a little bit of a wintry mix. Any mix is going to be very isolated and the grounds really are not cold enough for any of that to stick, so not too concerned about that. But the colder numbers do build in as we head into your Friday and we struggle to get to that 50 degree mark, but I think we get there. Seven day forecast shows a slight improvement on Saturday, not getting back to seasonal numbers though until we get to Sunday and then we're watching another system on Monday that's going to bring rain, breezy winds, and I actually think some folks are going to see some flurries north and west of the city.